<laughs> right, we are going to get started. Um, so I'm Lena, I run Little Learners in Basingstoke, and this is Benny, who's going to be my assistant today. So we're going to move back so you can see what we're doing. Oh, move back here. So today we are going to do focus on two of the mark makers that we do at Little Learners. So we've got Lionel, who is all about straight lines, and Ziggy. So we thought we'd just focus on these because they link to doing straight lines. Okay, so Lionel is all about straight lines. So it goes side to side, it goes up and down. So all the numbers and letters goes in. Ziggy is all about the zigzags. So to warm up, we were going to just make some, or the first activity was just going to make some numbers and letters using strips of paper. So Danny, if you move back a little bit, we've got some orange pieces of card. You could use white, it doesn't matter. We were going to make some letters. Are you ready, Danny? Can you make, see if you can make a capital L. I'll show everybody so they can see, he should know this. Capital L. Oh, so yeah, so you could use this activity to make Oh, that's it. Well done. Yeah, so you could do letters, capital L. See if you can do a K. Can you do a K, Ben? You might need more strips. Oh, a bit tricky. There you go. Yeah. Can you make a zigzag, a ziggy? Okay, zigzag. So at home you could just use slips of paper to make, so you could put one more there, to make zigzags. Can you make a, hmm, let's do a square. So you could look at all the shapes, you could make shapes. That's it. Can you now make a triangle? See if you can do it as a triangle. well done okay so you could use lots of strips of paper you can do lots of shapes lots of numbers now to start off with we are going to just so Danny if you could pick pick me one so you could do uh, use paint sticks you could do felt tips coloring if you pick me a green we're gonna just pick these up and we're gonna practice our straight lines so we're gonna go from one end all the way to the other and if you use strips of paper it sort of makes it easier for the little ones to make a line. So shall we see if we can do it, Danny? Start on one end, see if you can go all the way down, all the way to the other end. Well done. If you turn it over, shall we use something else? Could I have a paint stick? Can I use the orange one? No, not orange, purple. You ready? You're gonna do one? Yeah, because it's orange on orange, that was all. You ready? Just do a straight line. All the way down. Yay! So you could get them to do lots of straight lines. Well done. And then you could even, to make it harder, get smaller strips of paper. So, are you ready, Manny? See if you can do it. All the long are really thin, so you could make different widths of paper. You could do really thicker ones. Um, are a bit easier, you could do thin ones, make it a bit trickier. Go on then. Go for it. Watch what you're doing. That's it. So you could make strips of paper like this. Straight lines. Lots of straight lines. Oh, all right. Um, right, so today we are going to make a few things using strips of paper. So we are going to Get some, what colour would you like to use, Benny? Uh, purple. Purple? Oh, this purple? Let's go for this purple. So we're going to have strips of paper. We're going to give him some and see if he can make a square. Do you think you can make a square or a rectangle? So when these are dry, you could um, stick them together, glue them together or sellotape them. I'm just going to do it without it for now. So there's your strip of paper. Oh no, I've now put the same thing. Then we have got some paints. We've just used these three colours. 
and then what we've got are pegs which are brilliant for fine motor skills because you just press it down like this and then we've got um, pom pom balls you could use um, cotton wool you can use um, those makeup pads I've used them before just fold them up pop them in this bit is optional if you've got these you could do it this way if you haven't got paint or pom poms or cotton wool you could just use your fingers Okay, so we are going to use some of these, Benny, to show everybody, and we're going to use our fingers. So you take your peg and you just pop it on so your pom pom like this. You want to try, Benny? So there's your pom pom. So you pick it up. So you've got. So this is a paintbrush. You could use different things. You could use feathers, sponges. You could cut up little sponges. Okay, so then this end. So that is your paintbrush like this. And then we, I'll just use these. I'll do it on these because I don't want to. You can do your frame. I'll do my frame, shall I? I'll do one. Why not? Are you ready? So, what we are going. Frame? Oh, it's, it's not on there. Never mind. I'll just do it here then. Right, are you ready? So, we're going to dip it in. So, you dip that end in your paint. I'm going to go for orange. No, I'm going to go And then you could just dab along. I'm just going to do it this way. So you could dab along to make picture frames. You dip like this. If you stick that, keep that one in the pink, I'll keep that one in there. And then we'll put this one in the purple. Okay, keep going. So you can dab along. Do it like that. Like that. All the way along. So they are moving along a straight line. Leave it in there for you. So I'll just show everybody. There you go. Like that. That's it, Benny. Keep going. So you could do patterns. You could talk about colours. You could um, even use them as paintbrushes. You don't have to do the dabbing. That's it. What colour are you going to use now? That's it. Do you want to use finish it off with, or you could do fingerprints in between. If you wanted to, oh, you're going different colours. That's it. That's it, then. Keep going. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just mix them up. That's it. All along. Does it help you? No, you do it. Keep going. Doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep going. Dab it, that's it. More. Oh. Well done. And one more. That's it. So then you could stick them together, glue them together, sellotape them at the back if you haven't got glue, put them together, and then I'm sure you were like the rest I'm like the rest of you who've got lots and lots of pictures, colouring. Lots you've done during lockdown, then you could put it in and it makes like a picture frame. So you could put a photo even in there, or you could cut it down to make um make a picture. So you could even stick a piece of paper in the middle and then stick a photo on to make a photo frame. So if you do do these, we would love to see them so you could share them. Put poppies on. Right, okay, so we could should we do one with fingerprints? Do you want to do one? Okay. I'll just show you. You could do use your fingers. Fingers. Up. If we just move these over here to dry, pop it there. That's it. And then we could e. use fingers. That makes an E. Oh yeah, it does make an E. You're right. Then you could use your fingers to dab along. Just do finger painting. Ow. Oh, that's it. And then you could even count the dots. You could use it as numbers. Ooh. Okay. That, that one goes in there. All right. Oh, Benny Holly's watching. <laughs> you gonna say hi? Or are you too cool today? I'm not gonna speak. Right, I'm just gonna wipe my hands. I came prepared this time. Ready? Right. So you could make picture frames, photo frames, stick them together. You could make long ones, you could make them different shapes, you could make a triangle one. All done? <laughs> right, wipe your fingers and then we will move on 
The next one is a little bit tricky. I tried it with Emily yesterday, who's four, and she thought it was a bit tricky. So you could do this. The next one I thought we could do would be a little bit of weaving. So if you get some paper, we're going to use black today, and you're going to fold it down the middle, or just tap it down the middle so they're straight. And then I thought we could do some weaving. So I've got big scissors. Thank you, Benny. So we are going to hold it together, and hold them like this, and we're just going to go up like this to make so you've got to cut in the folded bit so if you cut and you've got it a bit like this so they are like that and then you could use strips of paper to do some weaving now Benny you didn't have a go yesterday yeah. are you ready can you just pop those to that side and then we will that's it, just move them across and they can dry and then we can stick them together, can't we? Move them across, that's it. Ready? Right, so weaving. So do it like this so you don't can see us now. Right, pick a colour. What colour are you going for? Orange. Oh, orange. What else? Shall we pick? Maybe pick four or five. Mm. Red. What else? Yellow, yellow is good because of the black paper. One more, no, two more. Purple and light purple. Okay, so these are strips of paper. You could use thin strips, you could use thicker strips for this. So if we go, I'll do the first one and then you can do the next one. Ready? Go over, under, over, under, over, and then if you tuck it along. Okay. Do you want to do the next one? So the next one needs to be opposite. So you start, which way you start on this side? So you go under, under the first one, that's the first one. Under. Under. Then tuck it over. Under. under. Brilliant. Can you find motor skills? Hang on. Tuck it out. That's it. Over. That's it. Under. And then you tuck it in. Looking good. Like that. Ready? Which colour next? Um, Purple again? No, like red. Red? Okay, so this one was under. What one does this one start with then? Over. Over. Keep going. Red. Yeah, you're doing it. Then over. So you could look at patterns. You could even draw lines on these first and then do it. That's it. Which one next? Yellow. Now, yellow is really thick. Do you think we might need to? If you tuck them along, there should be room. You might not fit this one in this one, but we can do another one. Hang on, look, watch it. So this one was? That's it. Over. Under, that's it. Oh, hang on, you missed this one, look. I know it's tricky to see because it's black. There you go, tuck it under. That's it. Oh, nearly. There you go. Amazing. So you could do some weaving. So there's the one Benny just did. Um, if you did smaller strips, you could do different widths. You could do um, talk about patterns, talk about colours, talk about the straight lines, um, doing different widths. This is one I made yesterday just to try it out. So you could do it like this. Okay. If you do make these, we would love to see them. All right, so there you go. There's those, there's those. Um, well done, Benny. That was a fab job. Do you want to pop it over there? Not on the painting, though, next to it. There you go. And then we could just finish off by seeing if you could do a challenge. So you could link it to the numbers. So we've got some numbers here that have got straight lines. Can you make these numbers, Benny? So could you make a number seven? So if you make it and then, oh, you're going to make, right, if you go back a little bit, otherwise it doesn't show on the screen, pop back a little bit more. That's it. And then just take some more. What do you need to make a seven? Got it? And then you could take um, some.
some colouring, even some paints, anything to see if you can go over it and then you are drawing the numbers. Hold it down, there you go. You're practicing. Ooh. You could do this as well. Oh, oh, keep going. That's it. Oh, it's just near the end. That's all. That's all right. I'll just keep it off. There you go. So you could practice drawing, writing the numbers before. Shall we do another challenge? Shall we do a number four, Benny? So if we collect these, well done. Fab seven. Loved it. Shall we do a number four? Do you know what? I'm going to give you a pair of scissors and if you need to cut some, you could cut it. See if you can do it. You got it? You done it? Do you want to just draw on top? Write it on top so he's doing his straight lines and his numbers. Brilliant. All right, so there's a few activities you could do with straight lines, um, links to numbers, links to letters, um, using, just using strips of paper. So you could just, if you haven't got, Benny, wait a minute, if you haven't got um, coloured, you could just use white, you could paint some, cut them up. Um, so all you need really is some white paper. So have fun and please do share with us anything you make. And thank you very much. We wait, Annie. Bye bye.